Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's all about powdery mildew. How do you identify it? How do you treat it? This is powdery mildew. It looks like powder has been dusted across all of the leaves of my zucchini plant. Powdery mildew is also out there on some of the squash plants and it slowly kills off the plants. It's October, so I'm letting this powdery mildew go. The frost is gonna come soon and it's gonna take out these plants anyway, but I thought it would make for a good video. So the first thing that you're looking for on your plants is a powdery looking growth. And this is what it looks like when it's out of control. It's real easy to identify. It starts with small splotches, uh, may look like that. And it slowly progresses and takes over your plant. Some of the leaves don't have it on there yet. If you flip it over, you can find it on the underside. There's a bunch of eggs on there actually of insects. So it will slowly take over a plant. We've been getting nights in the 40s, days in the 60s now in October. This is probably a different strain of powdery mildew. There's all kinds of different strains. During the summer when it gets humid and hotter, my cucumber plants, squash and zucchini will get something too. So now you know what powdery mildew looks like. The best way to prevent it is to know that it comes to your garden and to start spraying two, three weeks before it shows up. So that means you do have to keep a journal. You do have to take notes and pay attention to what shows up in your garden. So you can see some of the newer leaves don't have it. So if you treat this, the leaves that are starting to form won't have it. So you'll be able to manage the plant and take care of it. And you can see a lot of the leaves don't have it. Again, this is how it starts. Little specks on there. So let's just say, first time you don't realize you have it um, in your garden. It's going to show up. This is not because you're not pruning. This is not because your garden's messy. You're not doing anything wrong. This kind of fungus, mildews, float in the air. They will get to your plant. So, we have it. Take notes, you jot down October 9th, powdery mildew shows up. You start spraying two or three weeks before this. That will prevent it from getting on your plants. So we would go through, cut off all the leaves. I'm gonna do that. Remove the leaves that have the fungus and the spores on it, and then we're gonna start spraying. And I'll talk about the different sprays. We won't actually spray, I have plenty of videos on that, but I wanna talk about the main um, sprays you can use to prevent this. All right, so it looks drastic. Sort of just get used to that. Cut the leaves back. You can't really save the leaves that have the powdery mildew all over it. You could try, but they're gonna just kind of die off in yellow. You're not really removing them to stop the spread. The mildew, the fungus, the fungi, all the spores are all over the place. Um, you could even compost these. You know, often I say just throw them away. Uh, it's not that they're gonna survive on that in the compost. The spores will go to host plants. They're always around, so they're gonna to come to your garden when the conditions are right. So that preventive spraying with whatever antifungal you choose is really, really important. So the first step to stress again is start spraying two to three weeks before the, the um, fungi arrive, the powdery mildew arrives in your area. So now that you removed all the leaves, you're really doing that so that you can just concentrate your spray on plants that have a better chance of living. I just cut the tops of the leaves off. You could remove the stems all the way back if you want to, that's just up to you. They're gonna just naturally die off. I also went and picked out the zucchini. So, you know, the smaller ones are perfect for salads on the right. The middle one is good to cut up and saute. And the larger one is really good for um, zucchini parmesan. So you can harvest the zucchini at different sizes. So now that you've cut it back, You've removed a lot of the leaves, so you're going to want to give this a big drink of water-soluble fertilizer with nitrogen to help get the growth back. And we're going to pretend that the frost isn't coming. This is some point where you still got a good 60 days left of growing. And you can see right in there, you have more flowers coming, more leaves coming. Just soak that down. So you're going to make your spray. We'll talk about that in a second. You're going to soak the tops of the leaves, the undersides of the leaves, the stems, everything. And it's a lot easier to soak these leaves than to try and get through all of that. That's why you're removing it all. So you're going to spray every, depending on the product you're using, every five to seven days. And you're going to probably repeat that two or three times. So every seven 
um, every five to seven days you're going to do a new cycle of spraying and you're just keeping the spray on the leaves to stop the powdery mildew from taking hold. So the products that you can use, there's a product called Dacanil. It's not organic. Some people don't want to use that. There's a cucumber beetle, by the way. Also opening it up will also manage any pest problems you have because good uh, insects, insects will get in there and eat the bad ones. Birds will get in there and also eat them. So opening it up is a good idea when your plant is struggling. So you have Dacanil. That is a great antifungal because once you spray it, stays on the leaves and it really prevents the problem from taking hold. People don't like that because it's not organic. I don't mind using something like that on fruits, on plants that have fruits that are easily washed, like zucchini. That's your choice. Serenade is organic. That's a really good one too. It kind of smells like sweaty feet. <laughs> but it's really effective and you would spray that every five to seven days. The Decanil you can actually let go um, for up to two weeks before you reapply because it's waterproof. Serenade's a really good one. Every five to seven days, organic, spray the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. The whole key is whatever product you choose is to stick with the routine and keep treating your plants. Now you can also use baking soda spray. I have videos on that. You can just look up baking soda on my channel. And it's one to two tablespoons of baking soda in one gallon of water. It creates a higher alkaline spray. The uh, alkalinity rate, the spray raises the pH level, the alkalinity on the leaves. The powdery mildew doesn't like that. It doesn't take hold, it doesn't multiply. So you can use baking soda, that's organic. You can also use wettable sulfur, which does the opposite of the baking soda. It lowers pH, it makes the surface more acidic. The powdery mildew doesn't like that. You don't want to use both because they'll neutralize each other. Anytime that you're going to use a spray, no matter what it is, test spray, and see if it damages the leaves, wait 48 hours. If there's no damage from your spray, go ahead and use it. But these are four options that you can use. Now, if you want to try neem oil or an oil spray, that also works too. The oil sprays cover the spores, cover the powdery mildew, and that prevents them from multiplying. Um, I've had less success with oil sprays for powdery mildew and, fung and uh, fungal issues. I like Serenade. Uh, I like the baking soda spray. They work really, really well. So that's basically how you treat powdery mildew. You would, you know, follow this again for a couple of cycles over the next couple of weeks. Feed your plant, really in this case, every seven days with a water-soluble fertilizer like fish emulsion. That will help bring back leaf growth. Prune up the stems as they die back and your plant will be perfectly fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you some ideas of how to identify powdery mildew, how you would treat it, how to prevent it, and how to really take plants, take care of plants in your garden. Thanks so much for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.